Uh, I think it's an interesting uh, question and certainly a good start of the discussion. So I think from a corporate's point of view, if you want to just take a step back and understand what's happening at the corporate side, so cyber security is becoming one of the top concerns uh, in uh, most of the organizations. I think it has moved from the CIO and CISA agenda to the board agenda now, uh, especially after the last pandemic and many of the events that we have seen or incidents that we have seen. I think certainly the uh, eyes have opened, uh, or at least the awareness obviously has gone up uh, in comparison to the earlier the earlier years, right? Um, another thing that we have seen is uh, because of the rise of uh, digital enterprises, where organizations are you know constantly working in creating uh, digital customer experience, or applying sophisticated data analytics, or uh, you know investing in new technologies. So cyber security is becoming more important because you're dealing with data, um, and and certainly this data could be of any uh, uh, nature, right? And it's important to have a very high governance in terms of um, managing this data and security related to this data. So what are the challenges that we are seeing because of uh, uh, I mean because of the cyber security issues primarily uh, in most of the organizations? One is obviously uh, with the increased uh, usage of AI and ML. Uh, I think. Uh, while AI and ML is helping organizations to, uh, you know, create a new digital business model, but is actually also creating in parallel uh, a new dimension uh, around uh, cyber security threats. Right? I think they, it's it's being used effectively for creating new cyber security issues or threats. Right? For most of the organizations, uh, I think second thing, as uh, the other panelists have just mentioned, is the biggest technical skill gap that we are seeing in most of the organizations. I think there's a growing community of hackers. Uh, some of them are hobbies. Some of them are, uh, you know, are doing for various reasons. Uh, but the 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 uh, set of people who are on the other side trying to prevent it, I think that itself is not scaling at the same pace, right? Uh, according to one of the survey, I think more than three million uh, unfulfilled, uh, sorry, unfulfilled uh, cybersecurity jobs are going to be there. So which means that. The organizations or corporates will have a bit of a struggle in terms of getting the right kind of skill sets uh, to uh, to manage the cybersecurity threats. Uh, third thing that we have seen is uh, because the higher adoption of cloud in the recent past, uh, the awareness around uh, securing the uh, cloud infrastructure uh, is again very low. So many of the organizations or many of the people who are actually putting their data on the cloud are thinking that it's the responsibility of the cloud service provider, which may not be the fact, right? I think uh, people have to also own the security aspects of uh, the data which is being put on the yeah. cloud, right? The fourth thing that we have seen is uh, the, the whole uh, gamut of social engineering uh, attacks, right? Around uh, phishing, wishing, and the amount of data that is uh, available in the organizations today. So obviously the weakest link as we spoke earlier, is the employee uh, himself or herself, right? So I think if you're able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, push a malware or make the uh, right number of calls uh, to an employee to pull the information out, people are getting, fall, you know, people are falling prey to it. So who is actually doing all of this, right? I think there are a lot of people who are, um, uh, you know, constantly working and as uh, some of the other colleagues have just mentioned. Uh, so some of these guys could be a bank robber. Right? The, the intentions and the motives could be completely different. So one is obviously the person who's purely focusing on stealing the money from uh, institutions and corporates, as well as you know uh, people who are actually the actual customers of banks and I would say uh, uh, stock, uh, they, they could be stealing from stock accounts and things like that. Uh, second thing that we have recently seen an example of nation uh, state uh, attack, which is a solar winds, Orion uh, attack, right? I think it was purely a target attack to uh, uh, put your backdoor, uh, create a backdoor and start stealing, you know, stealing the information from uh, companies. Um, third thing that we have seen uh, is uh, corporate spies. Typically, you would have people getting into the organization trying to steal the business strategy. And again, with the uh, with the advancement of technology, uh, I think the more opportunities are create you're creating uh, you know i think you're equally making it vulnerable from a, um, a data security perspective uh, we have more uh, i would say a type of hackers who could i think the colleagues have already spoken about it but certainly i would say uh, uh, the botnet masters what we call uh, these guys have been you know launching uh, uh, ddos attacks right just to bring down the services and you know some of the i would say uh, digital uh, enabled businesses so i think uh, as as I mentioned, I think there's there's a great, 
I would say, uh, breadth uh, in terms of the way organizations are, uh, you know, adopting uh, digital. But somewhere, uh, it's also, uh, you know, falling prey uh, to the cybersecurity challenges if it's not really protecting it, if it's not there as a part of the agenda of protection, right? I think that's that's how things are moving in organizations today.